We just came up with all of these DIY gift ideas. Okay, it's only five ideas, but four of them are interchangeable. And we'll show you what we came up with right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build and make it? We do too. We have a new video each week. This week, we're getting into my favorite time of the year. We're getting into giving things away, sneaking into places, and giving people presents. Hiding things. Hiding things. <laughs> so not only this week are we going to do it, build it, make it, but we're also going to give it. Yes. <laughs> we're going to do it, build it, make it, and then give it away. And then you can also do it, build it, make it, and, um, and give it give it away. Or, or give it. Either yes. one. Give it to somebody else that can do it, build it, make it. <laughs> so what is it? We're doing five DIY craft gifts. <laughs> so we're doing. So we have all of these things in our store. If you know somebody who likes to do a build it, make it too, all of these crafters out there, uh, we have all these kits that we've done some beefing up on. So this is our opportunity to showcase some of the changes that we made to some of our kits and share some of the new things that we have. And then you can either give those gifts, kits to someone and they can make that and give it to them as a gift. or you can make the kit and then give it as a gift. And by make it, we really mean like paint it and glue it together. Yes, that is one of the features of these things. No tools, DIY crafts. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> anybody can do them. Gift number one. Brand new, fresh out of the glow forge. A little home sweet home sign with the interchangeable O's. Made a bunch of little of these 3D interchangeable O's. Yes. So we can take this little guy off and, I don't know, put our leaves on there. I didn't add anything sticky on oh, the back of these. Yeah. Flip flops. So we have 12 interchangeable O's. These are so hot right now. Everybody loves all the interchangeable. We have introduced the interchangeable concept of couple of times in our store. We love the interchangeable. But now we're, this kit will come with everything you need for all 12 seasons. So in the past we started with like six seasons because we just yeah. didn't have time to get everything done. <laughs> so this cute little kit can sit on your desk. It can hang on a wall, sit on a mantle and all 12 seasons come with it. So like I said, you can paint these seasons or you can give this gift and somebody else can paint one one interchangeable O per season. It's like the gift that keeps giving all year round. <laughs> all year round. They will remember you each month when they have to change the O. Yes. <laughs> so for this one, we're going to show it to you all finished. And for each project, we're going to show you a little bit about the project, a little tip for each project, and, and then I'm going to show it to you all finished. So each piece has two layers. So They're 3D. They pop. You don't necessarily have to stay inside the lines now. You can just paint the piece and slap it on the front. So the great thing about this two layers here, it makes it even easier to paint. So if you have a novice or even kids, all you need to do is dab the top, dab the back, put it together, and that's it. That's all you need to do. I can paint these. So this is, it makes it a little more family friendly for the younger kids if they want to get involved. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a whole lot easier. You don't need that steady hand and that tiny brush. All right, we're just gonna put a coat of paint on everything. We're gonna use these little dabbers. We found these little colored makeup sponges and some country chic paint, like yep. a bunch of different colors. So our one technique with painting these guys that makes it so easy and make it easy for kids, all you have to do is just dip it in the paint and dab it right on here. Keeps those edges looking crisp. Covered in paint in no time. Now we're just going to glue down all of the little pieces that we painted. So like my wand. I'm hoping everything will get glued down magically. Yep, so I've painted so that for example this sun, I have it two parts, one's orange, one's yellow. We're just going to glue these together and a little tip for this that you guys showed us is use a little E6000 and use a little hot glue. It meets Garrett's requirements of needing to immediately stick. And <laughs> stick forever. <laughs> you don't seem too steady with that thing. Yeah. 
It's hot glue. It's already on my shirt. Yeah, he's scared of it. Got it on my shirt. Somehow. Alright. Oh, got a little leftover bunny pink on here. Oh, that is pretty permanent. It's a little crooked. Uh oh. Yeah, well, that's down. It's there. Oh, don't make yours crooked. It's where it lives now. The frame. The frame comes with the backer already cut to ship lap. Each of the letters. Yeah, so we can show them what we got. Big shiplap backer already comes, and then the frame comes to the perfect size to fit on here already. Good to go. All and you got to do is paint and glue. Paint and glue. So great, so great. We're really excited about this new one because a lot of folks have asked for um, a smaller home sign, so yes. this is our offering. You pretty much you're gonna put your H close to the left side, your E close to the right side, and leave enough room in this O to put something like this big fat pumpkin in there. Oh, I'll, I'll put that in now so we make sure we get our spacing right. How do I get pink? Pink everywhere. All right, everything's glued on. We got all of our little interchangeable pieces glued up. Look at this. Look at this watermelon. So, so cute. I think my favorite are the flip flops or the uh, the star. Stars popping. Stars and stripes. I love shamrocks. I love uh, St. Patrick's Day. Look at that. So Look cute. That. Project number one. Alright, gift one. Oh, that was gift, gift one. number one. Gift number one. DIY gift number two. It's that antique truck with a shiplap backer. And welcome, all, again, with all the little interchangeable pieces. Oh, and we also have a version of the side of the truck. 3D, again, interchangeable pieces that will slip and slide in the back. Yep, so there'll be two kits. One you could choose back of the truck with the interchangeable Oops. set, or side truck with the interchangeable set. that with everything just this is typical of what he does in these really. trucks. <laughs> we're gonna paint this and we'll be right back yep oh lost the window everything's painted we're just gonna glue it all together all the layers of each of the little pieces and all the layers of the truck for the back of the truck there are four layers for the side of the truck there's length three Right. Everything's down, everything's together. Look at this, Look at this interchangeable. List. Look at how that pops. Can you see that tree? Ooh. I don't know why I made ghost noises for a Christmas tree. And we're a snowflake. I'm going to change mine out to the pumpkin. Mine's a leaf. Here, swap with me. I made them so that they're the same size. I love them. Again, I think the star is my favorite. Flippity floppies. Yeah, yeah, pumps. And Kim says my watermelon is too big. My watermelon is too it's big. A giant watermelon. I say it's got to be bigger than the flip flops. That's how it is in real life. <laughs> and so our little tip with this project, we've already shown you the glue tip, is the nice thing about these rounds that you can purchase in our store, we learned this, this became a lesson learned at our farmer's market, um, how to attach this ribbon and make it easy and without having to buy a bunch of extra hardware. And stealthy. What do you mean stealthy? Kind of like it's hidden, there's no hardware and you kind of hide the knot. Yeah, so you just tie a little knot in the back of this thing. We put little slits in here, about the width of some, uh, some ribbon. Yep. And you just and pop it through and tie, tie a little knot. Tie a little Done. knot in the back and that's it. No hardware, no glue. And then it's easy to change this ribbon out. You just it's take not the permanent. Out. Done and done. There's the little knots in the back. Look at that. Isn't that great? Mm, the longest part of this one was, was painting. Yeah. Takes a minute to paint these. That's why you do one each season. It's the gift that keeps giving. See? Yeah. 
<laughs> you can paint them all at once or paint them and give them each month like a Pandora bracelet. <laughs> yeah, you could. Somebody would hate you for it, but you could. Like each month, you just send them one of the little things that goes in it. Bam, Pandora. <laughs> DIY gift number three. Good old 18 inch standing gnome. All those little, all those little hands that hold things. So we've done the gnome project before. You've seen it before. Well, if you hadn't, you can watch the video and you can watch us paint the whole gnome. But when we offered, we upgraded our gnome kit. So when we originally offered, we had, it came with one set of seasons and then you could purchase the second set of seasons. And that's simply because we hadn't designed all 12 <laughs> seasons at that time. But we've now designed all 12 seasons and this kit. All 12 seasons. Well, yeah. <laughs> all of them. All, all of them. All 12. All 12 seasons. <laughs> all 12 months of accents. So now this kit will come with 12 months of accents and three interchangeable hats so that you can change them with the season or the month, whatever it is. The month. <laughs> oh, well, the hat, yeah, you can change with the season. I guess the pieces you can change with the month. Yeah. All right, so let's paint them and show, show you what it looks like all complete. As you paint it, go ahead and clean out the score marks. So just run your picker tool through the score marks or your toothpick through the score marks and the lines show right back up again and give it that little extra bit of accent or texture oomph. to it. The extra oomph, that little brings it back out. Now we're just going to glue them together. We're going to glue the beard on his face. I guess. <laughs> and then his nose half on his beard. So for this, I only painted just his boots. He's wearing him, no lederhosen. You didn't give him lederhosen? If you saw the last video, you know that Garrett's was wearing lederhosen. <laughs> Underneath his oh, beard. You gotta be in the know. You gotta be in the know. <clears throat> Get back! Don't go! That's uh, a whole uh, lot of pushing. Uh, don't go! All right, let's do his nose. All right, let's do his nose. Half. Bippity boop. Bippity boop. One in the middle. Now I got that glue in the middle. Like half on. The trick is half on the beard. That's the trick. Because then it's going to hold the hat on. Bam! Yeah. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy with his, without his hat on yet. <laughs> or his hands. Yep, let's put his little... Now he comes with some tiny hands and then some big hands. So you glue the tiny hands down first. Let me paint on the wrong side. Oops. Glue the <laughs> tiny <laughs> hands on first. Won't matter, they'll be covered up. Because the tiny hands are actually going to hold the, the piece. The big hands are just... glued down we're gonna put him in the base real quick so he can stand so he could be cool did I do this reverse last time mm -mm. wait I put his head on already he is. He's in his little base this guy has a little hat on yeah show him a swappable hat a swappable hat well you gotta put something in yeah, let's make him, okay. yeah, 4th of July. 4th of July. Awesome. Ready to go. Our little... All ready to go do fireworks. Let's say, let's give him a little, give him a little shamrock. Throw the green hat oh. Swap his blue hat for his green hat. Shamrock. He's ready to go for some St. Patrick's Day. I ready mean, how cute is this little guy? Yeah, he's great. Got all little pieces, little watermelon. Yep. Similar pieces, similar pieces. DIY gift number four, tags. Tags are very popular. We have these plain tags. They're very popular at the farmer's market and they're very popular in our store. So we made kits. We made a welcome to our home kit. It's not glued down. We I was gonna say, if that's not glued down, <laughs> I want you to pick that up. We have a buffalo plaid kit. Bam, look at that. And a snowflakes. It's all 3D. Oh, throw it on your finished piece. I have this one I actually already finished. Cool. 
So you add one of these little, little snowflakes. And look at that buffalo plaid. So that could have the white behind it. That could have any color behind it because the buffalo check is just laid over top. This is the easiest buffalo plaid ever, <laughs> ever. Yep, so I already have a finished set of the welcome to our homes. And our little tip for this one, let me clear out, yep. You know how to hang all crooked and cattywampus? They're supposed to be able to see both tags. But if you actually use the hole, they try to fall together. So we did glue them up apart or separated, but we found a better technique. Well, yeah, we found another, another technique. Now. Yeah, I think it could go either way. I personally think I would stick with the glue, but I don't know. I haven't tried this one yet, so let's see. Stick with the glue. I like it. You like Funny. that? Yeah. You like that? Punny. Um, I have these Velcro adhesive or sticky Velcro squares. So I'm just going to put it to the back of this one. Oh, I hope I didn't get too much. I see mm. my fingerprint on that thing. Yeah. It's a big print. So we're like right there. Yeah, you might need two. Well, I guess if you have the bow in there also. Yeah. Maybe yeah. one down here. No, I think you're right. I think I need one at the bottom. Squeeze one under there. Push it under there. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they all hang separate. So I'll put my ribbon through here, through each one of them, and then hang those like that. And then I could take them apart. I'll give it a minute, let this adhesive. Yeah, you can take it apart. We even shrank down the Christmas ornaments and made each one of those a tag kit too. So it'll come with like, let it snow. Oh, yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, about? yeah, yeah. It'll have like, <laughs> I have it ready. Let it snow with the snowflakes. Boom, talk about popping. Woo, that's icy. Looking good. So icy. Cute little winter kit. This is you your... Like swap. You can swap that and put this one behind it. Yeah, oh um, yeah, look at that. Pop, shebang. So... Oh, three tags wide. Oh, that'd be too heavy for the door. <laughs> <laughs> You're so creative, but this one's like your everyday and we could put one of our little um, black and white bows on here. You could use this all year round or like Garrett said because it's got the little velcro now. Yeah, I'll rip that off. Something like that behind it. Yep, and then Just I could put a little, welcome. well, yeah, I have changeable tags. Look at oh, that. Well, oh, here it is, my Christmas bow. <laughs> Hey Christmas bow. Yeah, don't you love that? Yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love, I it. love the interchangeable. That just happened. You just watch it happen. <laughs> yeah, the buffalo plaid in that one. <laughs> Look at you. Exclusives. Exclusives, exclusives right here. Right here. DIY gift number five. It's a fan favorite. Yes. They sold like hotcakes at the farmer's market and we did some updating to it. It's the welcome to our home large, uh, what is it? Large door leaner front porch sign kit. <laughs> but this time we actually have some interchangeable O's to go with it. We got all 12 months, a little Easter, a little spring, some Christmas, 4th of July, we got them all. Yes. We got what you need for the O's. But for this kit, you're going to need two six foot pickets. Yes. Yeah, we have the dog ear. We usually use the dog ear. You'll have to purchase these at your local home improvement store because you can't really ship these. And then a small picket. This is a 48 incher. And you're really just going to need two sections, about 11 to 11 and a half inches. And again, your home, local home improvement will cut this for you at two of them at like 11 and a quarter is really what it is. And we have a great video that shows you exactly how to put this together. And I'll link it right over here. It will show you how to put it together. And uh, we have all the interchangeable O's. So we'll put this one together so we can show you the O's. The best tip I have for this is if you get some of the paint over the edge, you just come in with this black paint marker and right down the edge. Second best Bam, tip done. will be to use these Martha Stewart sponges. 
So they come in these, they come in different sizes in this little cylinder here. Uh, the spun actually, sp spun, sponge actually comes out so you can wash it and clean it and put it right back in there. And then um, these things work great. You can use the makeup sponges. They work great as well. But I like these a little bit more because it's just a little bit stiffer. And so it keeps a nice flat edge. Well, it's got a good bounce to it. It's got a good bounce to it. <laughs> Done. Look at that. Look how quick and easy that was. And then uh, we could put the O. Oh, we could put uh, the regular family wreath. Oh yeah. Let's add a hook. Yeah. We use these little screw eye hooks. Uh, cup hooks. It says. Yeah. How does it go? Just gonna twist it right in between the boards. Makes it a whole lot easier to twist. Bam! Hello, spring. Come back to the regular family. So that's for in between seasons. I think we'll go with let it snow for now. What do you think? Pretty easy, huh? Number five. All right, what do you guys think? Uh, we came up with like five good ideas. I think they're five good ideas. I like the interchangeable thing. I really enjoy the interchangeables lately. Yes, well, everyone does. It's super hot, so I think it's a great gift. Like he said, maybe you don't give them one one accent every month, but maybe it's a great DIY gift to give them something so every month as they change the accents, it's a nice reminder. It's like a Pandora bracelet, I'm telling you. And like I said, for these double stacked 3D ones, um, it's a great project to give to a family that might have kids that they wanted to paint them oh, yeah. or paint them yourself and give the whole thing as a finished set to someone. Pretty easy, a pretty poppin'. Yeah, I was really excited to take some of the things that we have done in our store and really take them to the next level oh, yeah. and offer them as a bigger set. Kim made me make everything I could 3D, so yeah. I did. I wanted to make it much easier. You should have seen me trying to paint this wreath. It was It's a killer. But now that it's got 3D berries and stars on it, or lights, twinkling lights on it, <laughs> it's a breeze. It's a breeze to paint. It's a breeze. And we'll offer all of these SVGs and cup files in our store as well. So if you just want to make it from scratch, do your own cuts if you have uh, something that will cut these out. Uh, great. And just so you know, everything that you see on this table, everything that you see is painted with our Country Chic paints. So look at the variety of colors, takes you from every season and I didn't use half of the colors that they offer. Oh, yeah. so. There so many colors. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And just a little reminder because we forget to plug it. You can get 10% off of your first order by using our code, code MAKEIT10 at mm -hmm. countrychicpaint.com. 10. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's so close to the giving season and I'm feeling it in my heart. I really am. <laughs> I'm going to pick a random comment down below and uh, send you one of our finished kits with all of the painted interchangeable pieces. So uh, leave me a comment if you like one of these. Now I don't know which one I'm going to pick to just send out randomly, but uh, it'll be a good one. It'll be a good one. Yeah. Now if you're not going to join us for the after show, we do have an after show over there on Patreon. We're, uh, we give you some insights, maybe some bloopers. But if you're not going to be joining us, I'm about out of time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hit the road, and I'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. <laughs> and by hit the road, I mean hit the fridge, go to grab a bite to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I have so many things to balance this week. Mm. Star is my favorite. It's so poppin'. Mm -hmm.